Mm. 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 Good to see you, good to see you. It's the man in the black chucks. And I am the number one youth development expert. And I wanna thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. Today, the tip of the day, the tip of the week that we're discussing is communication. Parents, make communication a priority in your household. Make communication a priority in your, in your household. You are the only person a child, your child feels like they can talk to about, about things that are bothering them. And if they feel like they can't talk to you, they're probably going to ask their friends for advice. They can't get no good advice from a kid their same age. Don't you want them coming to you? Don't you want your child to come to you when they got a problem? When they're dealing with something they don't understand? That's why I am, I am challenging you this week to have an open door policy to communication. I'm challenging you this week to have an open door policy when it comes to com communication. Children want to talk with you. They want to feel like they are being heard, but it's very hard to be heard when you're always being put in a child's place. You a child, you don't know nothing about this. Sit down, be quiet, don't touch nothing. See, but when you act like that, when you turn off the opportunity for them to communicate with you, they feel alone. Yes, your child feels alone right now because you're not willing to have a conversation with them. You don't have an open door policy when it comes to communication and you're wondering why they don't talk to you about the things they're going through. It's because they don't feel comfortable coming to talk to you about them because they feel like you're going to judge them. Everything you think up here, now I'm just being real with you, everything you think up here doesn't have to come out of here. Sometimes it's best just to hold back the things that you want to say at the moment until you wait for the right moment. If you just can listen and be an ear, when, you, when your child comes home, when you see them for the first time after school and you get in that car, you at home, y'all sit at the table and you sit down and y'all talk about it, y'all about to have a little bit of time to yourself. I want you to just ask them, talk to me. How was your day today? How were things today for you, JT? What went well, what went wrong? What do you feel you learned today? Not just about in school, but just in life. What is something that you learned today about life? And just let them start to talk. Now, at first, they may not be comfortable to share everything with you. But when you become consistent with the open door policy for communication, they're going to feel more and more intrigued, more and more valuable, more and more heard by you. The person they look up to every day. So I need for you to be willing to open the door for communication with your child. Because if you don't open the door, they're going to feel alone. It's the man in the black chucks. And I am the number one youth development expert. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.